Hey guys, welcome back to the Linux Essential Series for Hackers. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to use the grep tool in regards to looking for data or information in files. All right, so this is one of the most important Linux utilities or tools that uh, you can you can learn how to use, and it will really improve your efficiency when dealing with uh, data and working in the terminal. Okay, so let's actually get started with understanding what it is and what it does. All right, so the first thing we can do is we can just use the what is command to give us a bit of a context or information in, in regards to what this tool is and what it does. So again, it tells you uh, this prints lines matching a particular pattern. And again, if you're interested in learning more about the tool, you can always use the manual pages or go through the manual pages for the particular tool. So there you are, it gives you information or in regards to how to use it. Uh, the purpose of this video is to show you how to use it in the most efficient way or in uh, a way to therefore in, increase your understanding on, on how to use the tool and how to make you efficient with using it. All right, so uh, before we, we actually take a look at a concrete example of how to use grep, uh, we must understand two things, all right? The first thing you need to understand is there are two ways of using grep. The first way is by using grep on its own. All right, so again, we can just uh, type in grep here. Uh, and the other way of using grep is by actually piping the output uh, of another command into grep and then finding what you're looking for. All right, so you might be a little bit confused, but let me explain what it does in a very simple way. So grep is a tool that allows you to find strings or patterns in files. All right, so that means you can search or specify for the data or the strings you're looking for in a particular file. All right, so let's take a look at a, comp uh, at a concrete example. Uh, we're going to be looking for uh, a word within a, the proxychains.configuration file. Now, if you're not familiar with what proxychains is, uh, you can check out my proxychains video where I show how to set it up uh, and, and install it. But again, it, it's, it really doesn't matter because you can follow up with any other files you're working with. All right, so let's say I, um, I wanted to find the word dynamic within the file, uh, the, pro the proxychains configuration file. Uh, let's let's take a look at how to use it using the first method, which is using grep on its own without piping the output of another command. So we can say grep and then the command we want to specify after or the parameter or the variable rather is the, the data we're looking for. So again, you want to encapsulate this within double quotation marks. So again, if it's a word, we can type in dynamic. Now, the thing you, you must ensure is that this uh, this search will be case sensitive and I'll show you how to omit uh, the case sensitive searches. So let's say we're looking for the, uh, the, the word dynamic and then we specify the location of the file we want to search uh, for this particular word in. So again, proxychains.conf uh, and again, we can use the double tab here like so and we hit enter and again that displays the word dynamic chain to us again that's the the word that it was able to find within the entire file however uh, as i said this search, uh, this particular search is going to be case sensitive now if we want to omit the case sensitive search we can use the i parameter or the i argument here so once we hit i that means that it will search for all files uh, or for all words within this particular file uh, called a dynamic, all right? So once we hit enter, you can see now it gives us two lines in the files. Uh, they are both different in the fact that the first one is in lowercase and the second one starts with a, uh, an uppercase D. All right, so again, it's a very simple tool to, to use. And again, you can now see how efficient and how great it is at finding uh, bits of information within files. So again, uh, we can say, uh, let's say we want to look for particular users within the password file. So I can say uh, grep, and I can say, let's say we're looking for the user Alexis in the password file. And then I say Etsy password and we hit enter. And there we are. It displays the user account information for the user Alexis. All right. So that's very simply how to use it. Now let's take a look at the second method or way of using grep. And that's by piping the output of one command into grep. And then, of course, finding the data you're looking for that way. And uh, the way to do this is by using the pipe the pipe symbol or the pipe key on your keyboard. Now you can find this key on the extreme right of your keyboard just before your numpad if you do have one. All right, so the way we use it is, let's say we wanted to cat the contents of the password file. So let's say we wanted to say cat Etsy uh, password and we say we want to look for a particular string within this file. And uh, to do this with grep, we now enter the pipe symbol. Uh, which means we are redirecting the output of this initial command and we are now passing it on to grep. So now grep can do something with this output. So we say grep, I want you to look for the word dynamic. All right. And we type, we hit enter and we, and there you are. So again, 
it does not give us any options here um, and that's because I did not specify user here so again say Alexis and again that gives us the user in, uh, the in the user account information for the user Alexis and again we can just change it to the proxy chains dot configuration file here and we hit enter and we change this to dynamic sorry um, like so and it gives us the data now a lot of people have been asking me since uh, w since I covered redirecting output. Uh, as I mentioned, there are two ways of redirecting output. The pipe uh, key or the pipe command is used to redirect output and you know further process the data that you're outputting. The difference between the pipe uh, the pipe uh, command or redirecting output with pipe and the greater than symbol is the greater than symbol will not display the information on to your terminal. It will actually just output everything or redirect all the output of the command that you've uh, that, that you've used into a file or even another command so again if i say cat um, etsy password and i used this i wanted to redirect the output into a uh, into a txt file i can say desktop i can say test.txt and i hit enter and now if i actually cat uh, the the, uh, the the file on my desktop sorry i believe i'm in my home directory here and i say test.txt i hit enter it, it actually has the content of the file so again that's the difference when uh, when I'm actually talking about uh, redirecting output with both the pipe and the greater than sign, uh, which is very different. So again, the, the pipe symbol is the preferred way of uh, using uh, or actually passing the output of one command and processing it with another command uh, like um, like grep. And you can use it with other utilities that will actually show you how to use uh, further, further, further along, along the series here. Um, so uh, you can use this with any other command that displays output onto the screen. So I'll, I'm just going to use one more command just to show you how efficient this is. So let's say I type in ifconfig and I just want my inet information. I can pipe the output of the ifconfig uh, command and I can say inet. Uh, and I can just say grep inet here. And I hit enter and it gives, a, it gives me my inet information, whether that be IPv4 or IPv6. All right, so you can now see how useful this is and I want you guys to experiment with this. Uh, let me know what you think uh, where you're not understanding how to use it and uh, I'll be sure to make up follow-up uh, full follow videos if you guys are interested in it. So that's pretty much it for this video and I'll be seeing you in the next video.